हेलो एंड वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल ऑल अबाउट इलेक्ट्रिकल फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फ्रॉम अवर सब स्टेशन सीरीज विच इज ए बैटरी चार्जर एज वी डिस्कस इन अर्लियर वीडियो अबाउट डीसी सिस्टम एंड बैटरी बैंक अ हार्ट ऑफ सब स्टेशन द बैटरी चार्जर ऑल्सो ए वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ सब स्टेशन डी सिस्टम Every electrical engineer who are working in power plants and substation must know about what type of charging is used to charge the substation batteries and how does the charger work. Today we will discuss just about its basics. The different types of charging procedure are available of for batteries. Those charging procedures are used for use as per voltage level, type of battery and requirements. In this video we will discuss about flow charging and boost charging. and it's working principle so first is what is flow charging flow charging is most commonly used charging method for of battery in which float voltage we maintain float voltage float voltage is the minimum voltage which always applied to the battery even after it got fully charged so float voltage is lower than the maximum charging voltage of the battery to reduce the possibility of overcharging in float charging system as all, as always a voltage is applied to the battery so the battery always is charged con float charger is mainly designed for backup power and emergency purpose in the float charging method the battery load and charger are all connected in parallel so in normal condition when power available load will draw current from the charger and at the same time battery also draw current from the charge but when main power not is not available uh, if main power is uh, failed the load will be supplied by the battery in float charging system generally voltage is maintained approximately uh, 2.25 volt per cell it works with a low and constant current delivery and it works on constant voltage and in the float charging system battery always will be in charge condition and there is no self discharge possible and now what is charging system boost charging system is a method where a boost voltage more than float voltage is applied temporarily to the battery to accept more current as it gets charged fully in a very short time the voltage must be reduced to float voltage once the battery got fully charged to avoid overcharging the boost charger is mainly designed for fast charging purposes it provides very quick charging it is more suitable for low to high power application battery can drive a heavy load such as high torque motors actuators etc so in a boost charging system the battery is disconnected from the charger after it fully charged but float come boost charge does not disconnect the battery when it fully charged it just reduces the voltage from boost to float level so next we will discuss about its working diagram so here it is a substation single phase battery charger block diagram so every substation has this battery charger float charger and nowadays it's coming with float cum boost charger the rating of float charger is 125 volt 7 amps and float cum boost charger is 145 volt 15 amps so the single phase supply is connected to the float charger and the boost boost charger as i already said the float charger is connected in parallel with the load and battery so whenever you give the ac supply the float charger will give you dc output and that output will be supplied to the load and at the same time battery also get uh, charge here you can see positives coming and from float charger negatives coming so the battery is also getting charged and load is also getting supply from the charger in case the ac supply fails the, there is float charger is off and boost charger is also off so the battery will supply the load from here 55 cell and here batteries will be supplied to the uh load in case uh, after power supply resumes the battery is discharged and we have to boost charge the battery so what hap in that instance what happens is we have to uh, switch on the float this contract this contactor will get open so 
when we switch on the boost charger the this dc contractor will get open so the battery get charged up to 140 volts so the boost charger will directly charge the battery this is here is the first cell and 55 cell but to the load uh, this positive will be applied to this blocking diode and this diode will be forward bias and this diode through this diode the positive will get to the load and from here negative will get to the load so from 40 tap uh, 42 cell which is called a tapping cell uh, the voltage will be supplied to the load the reason being is that in charge in case of boost charging the per voltage cell will shoot up to around 2.6 volts so if you apply the 2.6 volt to uh, to all the 42 number of cells it will be uh, around uh, 110 volt so the desired voltage to the load is only 110 volt and if we supply the to full full 2.6 per cell into uh, 55 cells it will be for 143 so which is not desired voltage to the load uh, there will be some damage to the tripping coils and closing coils so we have to uh, carefully monitor this uh, whether this whether this blocking diode is working on in case uh, this uh, float charger fails uh, the float come boost charger also can be used as a float charger uh, provided that this DC contractor must be in working condition and when you switch it off to the uh, boost mode this contact must open so that the uh, tapping cell voltage should, should get to the load and not the full 145 voltage uh, should not get to the load so uh, this blocking diode also be should be in working condition and uh, this contactor also be in working condition of this DC system uh, thanks for watching please uh, if you like this video kindly share and subscribe thank you